Hello everyone. To stay wealthy with health is always a blessing. Let God help us to get rich health ever. You may wonder what for today. Today we are moving to discuss about an alarm which is set at our belly and rings at regular intervals. This alarm calls out for a catalyst when we have to do our certain needs. It is this catalyst which drives us forward and makes us mobile to do the same needs. The term carries four letters. If I am right, your guess is apt. The word is food, F-O-O-T. So let me welcome you everyone to this edible English palette. Now here to my right side, you can see an edible English palette. But today for the palette, there are only a few starters. They are the taste, the meal types and the name of the food. The name of the food is a assignment part. Okay, so the rest of the areas are the taste and the meal times. Okay, so let's go with the taste. We are blessed with the sense organ tongue, which helps us to interpret the different taste. Right? Think about the butter chicken made out of by your mother during one of the Sunday. Okay? Don't it taste finger licking good? You can see to the motion to my right. Think about a cupcake where the chocolate syrup oozes out of the cake and it turns in mouth watery. I can even feel you people getting water in your mouth, isn't it? Okay, think about the spicy dum biryani which has been brought in the hot pot by one of your aunt. The spicy full flavored biryani never make it to sit in one place, right? Think about the April May months where you do get rich fresh fruits like mango, jackfruit and so on. Think about the juicy mangoes. Did you feel the delight inside? That's how the taste goes. Right? Think about the most popular dish which we Keralaized serves with the feast. The tangy ginger delight. If you couldn't see that or if you don't know about it, just see to my right. This is how it looks. Okay? So these all are the common taste or the common taste words which we should use while we are communicating about a good damn food. Okay? Now well, let's move to the meal types. Now we are moving to the seven meal types. The bite, the brunch, the square meal, the buffet, the continental breakfast, the luncheon and the school dinner. So let's know what a bite is. To my right you can see how a bite looks. People who always complain about the 12 digit numbered device is very prone towards the bite. They do run into the kitchen, they do grab a bite and they do run for the show. It can be over a snack bar or it can be over two or three flat Indian breads. Yeah? So, being workaholic is good, but it won't be good if you skip the breakfast and if you are getting a bite instead of that. Yeah? So this bite is a very small meal 
which never compensate with the breakfast it's not a substitute but a small meal which just calm down our hunger clear if you want to get examples see to my right to my right you can see the branch okay there we have given the both english and the indian branch this branch is meant for the people who are at most workaholic so do you want to know who are workaholic people the people who are fond of doing work irrespective of giving any complaints they are termed as workaholic people so these workaholic people always grab a bite in the morning then they do run for their workplace they do their work at times in between the work schedules they will leave the time for the lunch and they will club the breakfast and lunch together so the breakfast and lunch together is called brunch so as i said earlier this is meant for the workaholic people and there is no proper time for having the brunch but it's been said that we have to take the brunch at least before 3 pm in the evening so we have workaholic friends reminded to have their brunch at least before 3 pm okay now let's move to the other term the square meal for indians the square meal is like the thali meal which is will be served with the main course in the center and the other dishes around the sides from the left to the right extreme you can see the thali meal to my right that is an indian thali meal okay the thali meal is served on a big plate else a platter p l a t t e r so the platter is served with the main course at the center the steamed cooked rice and with the other side dishes from the left to the right extreme so see the thali meal is a complete combination of all the taste right and we do go a little confused with where to start with and where to end clear and this is to be english square meal too which is given below the indian thali meal can you see to that this is how an english square meal looks like okay now let's move to the other meal type the buffet you can see to my right again this is a typical indian buffet the word buffet b u f f e t is a french word then too in english it is pronounced in the same way like b u f f e t as buffet or buffet clear so this is a meal type where all the food items will be put on the table and the people will go there and choose whatever they want now let's move to the other meal type that is the continental breakfast the continental breakfast of english comprises of the bread butter tea or else the coffee with some other beverages and the pastries and with the croissants so do you want to know what a croissant is a croissant is a fried roll which consists of a wedge or else a non wedge filling inside okay this is how a continental breakfast of english looks like see to my right see how they look clear so how about an indian continental breakfast an indian continental breakfast is very rich see again it will be served with a roasted plain pan cake indian pan cake then to its side there will be fried indian donuts and over the roasted pan cake you can see the melted butter right when we are to that can see the seasoned coconut delight again very next to that you can see the crunch chili and onion dip wow very enough for the indians to go rich continental right 
Sometimes if any of our relatives do call us in the morning, we can say that we too had a rich continental breakfast. So they do wonder, wow, continental at the home? Yes, this is how the continental breakfast goes with the Indians, with the rich Indian pancake and with the fried Indian donuts and with other delights. Okay, so that's how the continental breakfast goes with the Indians. Now let's move to the other term that is the lunch yawn. Lunch yawn, L U N C H E O N. Lunch yawn is a meal time or a meal or a formal meal. It has to go with a formal lunch. Clear? For example, if your father says, I don't want lunch today, we are going to have a lunch yawn. Why? We might have called for a meeting and after the meeting we might have planned to meet together at a place or in a restaurant where we might have booked for a formal lunch. You can see to the seating arrangement of a lunch room to my right. See how they have been served with a food. See to the seatings, see to the table, to the chairs. It's completely formal, right? So this is how a luncheon looks. A luncheon is a typical formal lunch. Clear? So what about an informal lunch? What an informal luncheon? Have you ever visited any marriage homes or any marriage reception where you do be served with the lunch or a plantain leaf and they do serve the main course into the center to the nerve of the leaf? Right? There, we do sit in a line. Right? That's an example of an informal lunch. A small example. Clear? So when you go for marriage reception, when you get seated for the lunch fair, remember this term. The last but not the least meal time is the school dinner. See to my right, when you see the two kids having the school dinner, Opening the different boxes, having the sandwiches and the crackers. Hope you all know what is a cracker, a salty cracker. For example, Monaco, crispy bites. These all do come under crackers, salty crackers, remember. Yeah. So, a school dinner comprises of a wet sandwich, a fresh fruit, which is very fresh, and to go with the dried fruits. Maybe the cashews, maybe the pistachios, maybe the almonds, and maybe with the dark grapes. Okay, this is a complete school dinner. And when do we take it? Of course, during the mid morning. The mid morning is a time between your wake up time and the lunch. Maybe by 11 15, 11 13, 11 45. These all periods do come under mid morning because by 12 is the time for the meal yeah so hope till school dinner the meal types are very clear for you dear children as we said earlier we have an assignment on these food items that is to find the english word which do match rightly with the items that's been provided in the assignment Remember, before naming the food, you have to go with three steps. Think about the ingredients of the food. Think about the cooking process and the appearance, the looks of the food. Go through all the three steps and start naming the food in English. Thank you. So, I do hope that you all have your food properly. Okay. Take care of your health. So for the time being, we all will be moving with the virtual classes. We all know it's our time to go with the virtual class. But never get addicted to some other kind of games. Never use this improperly because this is an electronic gadget. Take care of your eyes. In case if you are thoroughly watching the video, just take 20 or 10 minutes of break Pause the video in the middle, but resume soon. Clear? 
So this is all for today. Meet you in the next session. Till then, it's bye for me. Bye bye.